All right, this is a beautiful day to be on the bike again. In this episode, I'm going to take you to Midwest Steel, the steel department. And I'm gonna show you what all they do and what all you can get there. It's a huge place here, all the way back there, and then to this here. This is the front, so I'll bring you in to the front here. So I got to meet with steel, the steel department, and this here is the office. So I'm gonna take you in. We are gonna meet a guy, and and he is gonna he is gonna tell us a little bit about what's going on here. All right. This is the guy that is going to tell us everything that is going on here. So what is your name? Hi, Mr. Enrique. My name is um, Samuel Navarro, and I work here at Midwest Steel. Okay. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit around here at Midwest Steel and the things we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Where do you want to start? We could start right here from in the office. Okay. All right. So um, <clears throat> this is our office space. Maybe you'd like to show around here a little bit. Um, our office space. And um, over here in this section here is where we stock the paints. So we have here a variety of... Um, Different, different paints. We have them in quartz, in spray cans, and also in gallons, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, to go along with that, we have paint brushes and some different, some different items so you can work the paint, yeah, whatever projects you have, right? All right. Our display from some of the items we have, uh, we have a hammer, I guess, and we all know what this is made for, right? There you go. So we have uh, hammers, pliers, drill bits, um, yeah, different different things. This section here we have our bolts, nuts, and washers, right? These we call them the fasteners. Okay. So um, starting from the galvanized to the grade eight and the stainless steel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got you got stainless steel as well in the yes, bolts. Yes, that's right. right. We do. Yes. Nice. These are some hooks for I guess cable. If you have cables, I mean we have all these hooks here that you could make an attachment, make the make the cable so you could sustain a lot of weight. Okay. So these are yeah, oh, yeah. cables, right. threaded rods. All right. Mm -hmm. And then down here, we have these gate openers, right? Um, these are for sliding, sliding gate openers. We have two sizes. If you notice there on this plate, we have two sizes. One's bigger than the other one, made for more weight. Um, these are very good. Um, actually, they're universal. I guess you could attach them to any gate you have in your yard it doesn't have to be a specific gate you could be a chain link gate it could be a steel tube gate so yeah these are hot selling people buy them frequently okay over here we have some kamals um, these kamals are made basically for tortillas if you want to make tortillas they could they serve that purpose and down here we have some artiferro designs here we have some of these items here majority of them are imported and we have some that we fabricate here we have a cnc machine that okay. does fabrication of those things. For example, like the Kamals, if you notice the pattern to these, they have a very nice pattern, very nice pattern cut. And right. these are what we do with our, um, with our CNC machine. So these are made here, they're fabricated here okay. at Northwest. Right. Um, now, for example, like some of these spear points versus this other spear point here, if you notice one is made from flat metal, the other one has a, like a, like a, like a shape to it, right? Um, right? So these ones are imported, these ones are fabricated. So okay. yeah, uh, we have nice. a big selection of these. These, we call them the baskets, right? They're, you fabricate we, them here as well? We don't fabricate okay. these. These right. are imported. Okay. Um, 
So these baskets, I guess people want something fancy on their window or on their railing, gate railing. Yeah. We fabricate okay. gates and doors yeah. and yeah, right. different stuff like that. Awesome. We call this the chain link section because okay. here we have mainly everything would be for chain link from from the, the corners to every piece of attachment to get your whole assembly set up, like your whole yard fenced. Nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that design up there, it's we've had that for quite a while. Actually, a lot of people, they like that. Um, we fabricate this here at Midwest Steel. We, okay. we have uh, the CNC cutter, for example. Okay, so that's also cut with the CNC. That's also cut with the CNC. Okay. So um, a lot of times you might think, okay, um, if they would come here and do something, they would want, they, they think that we might come up with the idea, but a lot of times we go with what the customer wants, right? Okay. Majority of the time, if they bring the idea and the creati creativity, we go based on that. So we, we kind of work with what they have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And so you also do cutting, like if people want different sizes of steel or or right. any cutting, that's what you do. That's right, Mr. Enrique. Okay. We, we do that. If you have a custom size you want, we do that for you custom. Okay, that is yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So you just come in, in here and tell the guys what you want and then they, they do that. That's right. Okay. Come in through the front door. We have a staff that's ready to assist and ready to help you with your order from start to finish. That is amazing. Yeah. All right, so I guess we are going to go to the section in where you do all that that's building right. and well, everything. That's right. We could go right over here to where we have okay. the plasma machines. That's the first section. So yeah, go into this one. Yes. one here. He's going to tell us a little bit about what they're working on there right now. Yes, so currently we're just cutting some Perlin tabs basically for the buildings here. Um, everything here is CNC operated. Um, these are plasma cutters, so it's all with electricity. The green coolant that you see is simply a uh, liquid that we use to help with the smoke to not cause too much pollution. Okay. And then to also cool down the material so that once it's finished cutting, it's ready to come out. Okay, oh that is nice. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So that is what is going on there right now. Yeah, so the, at the moment what we're cutting there are purlin tubs okay. uh, that they use to put in the purlin to connect. Okay. Okay, so in, in Midwest Street here, we have a fabrication section in the building here. So here to our right is where we do all our fabrication, basically from doors, windows, up to big buildings itself, okay. right? All right. So, yeah. All right, let's go and check it out and see what all we find. So this here is. So this here is apparently it's some something that they're fabricating. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Okay. I would imagine it's for harvesting for some crop that they, they would use this for. But yeah, we usually get the old sample and we fabricate something new, right? Okay, so here you see, guys, this is the old one, and here they are building a new one. Wow, that is amazing. There you go. If you need anything to build, so you just bring your old stuff and then they will build a new one. That's, that's how it goes, right? That's right. You bring right, the awesome. old one, we try to make it new for nice. you. That yeah. is amazing. So the guys here, they're actually making an A-frame. It's an A-frame for a building. Okay. I believe um, this is just where you, they, you know, the building itself and they put all the roofs and purlings and tabs and everything to okay. it. Okay, nice. Okay, here we have another machine. So let him explain a little bit what they do. All right, so here we have a shear cutter. It's, it's actually a machine used to cut sheet metal, sheet plates. We could do up to from 1 16 all the way up to quarter inch plates. So you could, it could shear those. Um, complicated cuts it does not do. It's just basically straight cuts. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. So as you heard that this section is a fabricating section. So they build a lot of things. And they have that overhead crane here to take to take all the big things that they're building to take it out or move it wherever they need to move it. Okay, so we're gonna look at how they are doing a little bit of steel banding on this one here.
going to do the other side. There you have it. Okay, so I see here you have some expanded metal. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, we do have some expanded metal here. Actually, these are what we call, these ones are scrap. They're pieces that are left over from sheets we've got. Okay. So on the shelves over there, we have the, the sheets that we, we store, right? Okay. So these are just pieces. And a lot of peop time people, they use these for grills or to put on their doors or something like that. So that's why we have these here. People come, we could custom cut them to size. You don't have to buy the whole sheet. If you want a piece 10 by 10, we cut it 10 by 10 for you. That is amazing. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about so this here? Over here we have these, um, uh, do you call these AR400 plates? They're T1 okay. plates, basically very hard material, very okay. tough. They don't bend so easy because they're, they're tough, right? I mean, if you want to use them for, um, for heavy equipment, parts for heavy equipment, um, that's what we use these majority okay. of the time for. Over here, we have the floor plates. We call them the diamond floor plates. If you notice, they, they're a little different. They have a different shape to them. Oh yeah, so, the diamond plate. Yeah, okay. that's right. People use them for trailer beds. For okay. trailer beds okay. or trailers, they would put that down so it has a little bit more of grip on, okay. while walking on top of it or something. Yeah. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, Enrique, here, we, what we have happening over here, this is what we call the piranha. These things, they punch holes. Okay, you can come over here closer, you can take a look. So, looking at the piece of plate that they're making there, I believe it's probably like a base plate, some kind of base plate to anchor something down. So that's, what, that's what's being made there. These are two saws that we have. We call this one the coal saw. Okay. And this one here is the band saw, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, just two equipments to cut tubes, cut pipes, cut beams. Okay. Uh, they do a lot of the cutting around here. Okay, so that, yeah, that's a band saw. And that one? This one is a cold saw. It basically, it operates different. Um, it has, I don't know if you might notice, it has a, a oh, different a blade. blade down there. Okay. It's not It's not like the band saw. It has a, just a yeah. solid blade, right? Okay, all right. So whenever awesome. we're busy, if that one gets um they're busy with that one we use this okay. so it's basically it, it moves the process a little bit more faster if you want to go there you can see the guys they're preparing oh. to cut a piece of yeah. piece of One thing I could tell you here is that if you notice the customer came and brought a piece of pipe here So it's just to let uh, people know that we custom cut to size So if you have a small piece um, Even outside in the yard sometimes we have smaller piece laying around and if it's something that works for you as a customer Bring it in here. We'll cut it for you and you get your piece of steel. Awesome. Yeah. Is that stainless steel? This is galvanized tubing. Okay, and that's stainless steel. These are galvanized angle lines. Okay, so from here that way is galvanized. This is galvanized, from here okay. this way would be stainless steel. Okay, here you have the square tubing, regular square tubing. You have galvanized square tubing right there as well. So big ones and small ones, any of the square tubing that you need is on this side here. And then here you have also square tubing. It looks like this is galvanized and then you got yeah, round tubing here as well. This here, you see, round tubing. This looks like it's stainless steel. This is stainless steel here? That's right, that's yeah. stainless steel. Yeah, all right. And then this is? Because it's 40 round pipe. Okay. Yeah. Is this what people sometimes use for fence posts or is this something uh, else? No, what people would usually use for the fence posts would be galvanized fence pipe. They're from galvanized. Okay. They're all right. thinner. I uh -huh. can show you that a little bit later. There. Okay, all right. And uh, these, what people would use these for would basically be just for like if they're, 
yeah, I want to make a post, a light post, for example, they would use some of these. Mm -hmm. And yeah, different stuff. Right. So we try to find a place where we could store things, so we kind of have this section here for storage. Maybe. Okay, okay, nice. All right. So this is basically storage, and then here you have it all the, on this plate. That's for the fencing. These would be fence pipes right here. Uh -huh. One and three eighths, all the okay. way up to two and seven eighths fence pipes. Okay, that's the one that they would use for to put on the chain link and that's stuff. Right. Yeah, all right, that's okay. All right, nice. Awesome. Just look at this section here. This is all I beams, all the way to the back there. Huge section of I beams. And I'm on a pile of I-beams here as well. Let's do a little bit of an overview here. Now, we gotta go to that one still. And as I was saying before, they have the overhead crane that goes all the way, all the way from one end to the other end. That's with the overhead crane. They can carry all of these heavy things there. We have the construction rebar here. Okay. From all sizes. We start off with a 3 8 then we go up to the half inch, okay. 5 8 3 quarter, and all the way up to 1 inch. Rod. Wow, let's take a closer look at this here. That is a thick one. All right, here's a new thing that I didn't even know Middle Steel had. They are actually making chain link chain link right there but let me let me walk around here here they have a lot of different sizes of of the wire to do that just a whole bunch of rolls pallets full pallets full of chain link and here they're in progress yeah so right here right now what they're working on is the five foot and um, galvanized it's five foot in height these rolls they come 65 foot long so you could stretch them out to 65 foot and then we custom make them whatever height you would like them if you want them seven feet we make them seven feet if you want them so yeah and um, we could come over here okay. so like i was saying earlier we get them in round bales mm -hmm. you can see they come in just round bales mm -hmm. and then it goes through a little process of bending right yeah let's see yeah you can take oh, a look at that Wow, that looks, that looks neat. So what it does, it just, it, you adjust it the measurement and then it goes each time they cut, it cuts the measurement. That's right, we adjust it, it's a CNC operated, so you adjust, you put in the measurements and it cuts it exactly to the, to the size you want. And then it does all the bends up here. You see it does the bends for those pieces. Oh, yeah. Here it does the little twist for the, for the bottom section, right? Oh, like there you go, mm -hmm. I see. Wow, that is neat. This is something new. I really didn't know Middle Steel had this going on here. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this. Yeah, nice to hear that. Yeah. This is actually in itself. It's the, uh, one of the latest latest projects that we just lately started. Nice. So um, yeah, we're trying to push it out and trying to make it known to the public that we have you know chain link. We make it here in Belize. Right? Nice. It's just awesome that you guys make it here. Yeah, it's here for the people. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm assuming this is probably more affordable, right? The prices are very good. The prices okay. are very good. Okay. Yeah, if you know the amount, I mean, you can come here with your project, the land you're working with, and we help you from start to finish with the amount of chain link you need and whatever pipes and everything you need. For. Okay, so they're also dealing with uh, cement to do your concrete, concrete work. They're unloading right now. You see they have a little shed right there where they put it. And out here they also have some steel there they're building a new structure this here is midwest steel the steel department it's actually a beautiful day today it's 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 kind of hot but it is beautiful nice nice sun out there if you want to get your vitamin d you you better get out and, and get your vitamin d that's the natural one the best one See here, they also have the cement blocks. There you go. I wasn't sure what this was called, but there you see Midwest Steel, design 
fabricate, construct. There you go. This is made with steel, the steel section for you. I showed you what they all have available. So I really hope this is helping you. Thank you so very much for watching my videos. Again, if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. And I guess until the next video, God bless.